I'm Keith Norana from Reynolds Technology based in Hall Green in Birmingham in the factory. Reynolds is a, probably a quite a well-known brand within the cycle industry, but it invented what was called butted tubing back in 1898. Been part of a large British company called TI Group from 1923 right about 1996. Its speciality is making these relatively thin wall bicycle tubes, normally in metallic, so steel, titanium, aluminium, but indeed supplying bike builders, frame builders around the world. We make bicycle tubing, so we buy in the raw materials. We use it on things especially called butting machines, which are a special way of making very thin wall, variable wall thickness, so in other words, the wall changes, tubes that are used to make up bicycles, and really, they tend to be at the higher end. Indeed, let's say, we take the raw material in, and we basically cut them to length and then using what is called a die, which looks like a donut, and a mandrel, which is specifically shaped, made from a tool steel. Each of those combinations can be used as a specific butted tube. So put in perspective, we make butted tubing here, but we've probably got 500 different variations on a butted tube, and each one of those in combination can actually make something for the frame builder. So they, for example, if they've got a light, small rider, they can make a frame up for that person. Or if they've got a very large basketball player, they can buy tubes from us, which should make up something like that. So it's a combination of the different metals we use, so we have got four or five different alloys, and many different varieties of the actual tube dimension that make up the kind of offering we have for frame builder. The Renault 531, which is a well-known brand of ours, was actually launched in 1935. One of the big things we do is we spend a lot of money on working out and trying out different alloys. So for example, we do titanium alloys, we do these mar aging steels, and the technology that Reynolds now offers is a combination of this butted technology, which is the wall thickness change, but also the fact we now look at me metals in particular that are actually a lot stronger, in other words, strength to weight is higher now than it was, say, even 20 years ago. We're offering indeed the cloth and we're deliberately saying look at all these different options you've got from Reynolds. The frame builders part of this of course is not just the fabrication experience, in other words how to put the frame together, but their ability to say I can shape this tube to do this or that. So for example if they want a lot of say what we call lateral stiffness, they want a very stiff BB shell you know, because they're really say strong riders, they could actually change the shapes of the tubes and pick stuff that Reynolds makes to make a very stiff bike. Other people, for example, would say want to do long distance touring, they're going to uh, load the bike in different ways. Again, a frame builder can choose probably more traditional round tubes, but they're going to allow for the loading of that frame, including the panniers, to say, this is going to make you a bike that's going to be very fatigue resistant and you know you could ride around the world in it. both ways in that we try and invent things and bring out new products but equally we listen to what the frame builders come up with and if they say something that really to us indicates a market we should be looking at we obviously try and follow it up if we can. Metallic frames and we're involved particularly in the UK factory we do high-end steel and titanium here in Birmingham we've definitely seen a steady rise over the last three years in that and inquiries from around the world for materials like that because obviously with the materials we, we do, they're made in relatively small quantities but they, are, they do need to be pretty precise and we've definitely seen more interest in this kind of thing here. We were looking for a very high-end product and the technical property of 953 is we call it strength to weight, so per kilo of weight, for example, how strong can it be? The 953 raw material is definitely the highest strength to weight material we currently deal with. We then had to take that raw material and turn it into a butted tube, and that in itself was a pretty tough job. But the beauty is we could use the butting technology on it, because not all metals are ductile enough to be butted, but with the mechanical properties being so high, we've actually got a material with 953 which is called a mar-aging stainless steel. We've got something which 
overcomes one of the supposed issues of steels, which is that they rust. The stainless element of it has been a major advantage, but I think what we've really brought to the market as far as we're concerned with 953s, for the first time we've got a material which is actually so strong that it can compare with even titanium in terms of a strength to weight. 931 is about the strength of our Reynolds 853, but it is a stainless material. So now we've got a comb combination of a very, very high strength premium alloy, and we've got the 931 at a slightly lower price point, which has a number of the advantages of 953. So really, we're widening the range of stainless offerings we can provide to frame builders. The feedback we've been having from people who have built both 953 and 931 frames is, I think that they call it the right of steel. We're definitely seeing people who've said, I've got a titanium frame or a carbon frame. They really like and they remember the right of, say, they're all 853 or 521 frame. They're definitely saying to us, they get that feeling with the same. But of course, being stainless, they also have the feeling this frame will, should last and will last a lifetime. We jokingly call them unobtainium products here, in the sense that by the nature of our operation, we get involved with many suppliers around the world who have got what seem to be great metallic alloys that we really must try out. Our job, I will say, is to continue the research there, but right now I have not yet seen something to beat 953 in terms of strength to weight. We will look at different alloys for different areas, but I think it is worth remembering 531 is still around, what's it uh, say 90 years or 80 years after first being introduced 853 has been around 20 years i think 953 will be around as the, our flagship for quite a while i have a number of frames i i will say they're all prototypes i do have a 953 one of the first ones built i've a, i've got one of the 853s one of the first ones built i've also got an aluminium lithium frame uh, which was produced using an American supply of alloy and sadly they were part of the space shuttle supply so we can't get that alloy anymore. But I think basically I get very early versions of it, not necessarily fully sorted out and certainly what I will say one of my favourite ones is the 953 and my excuse for not cleaning it is I'm testing the stainless property. Friends, in each case, normally custom builders, I will say one, a friend from Taiwan hand built my 953, but my 853 was made by one of them. So I won't name names deliberately, but I am very lucky in this business that we have a number of personal relations with the custom builders.